Right, as was the case in the last video, questions 13 and 14 are both fairly short, so I'm going to do both of them in this video so that we can keep it nice and brief. Okay, so question number 13 is name a more appropriate graph to display the means shown in table number one, and then suggest appropriate x and y axes for your graph of choice. And question number 14 is what do the mean and the standard deviation values in table one suggest about participant performances with and without music, and then justify your answer. Okay, so just very quickly, we'll go back to table number one. Okay, this is what table number one looks like for anyone who hasn't seen the last video. Okay, so let's go back. So let's have a look at the answers for question 13 and 14. Okay, so question number 13, it would be more appropriate to use a bar chart, and that's because the data in the table is representing two separate conditions, and therefore the x axis label is going to be conditions, so running with music and without music. Okay, I'll add that in to be fair. So, okay, and then my y axis label is going to be time in seconds, that is my dv. And then question number 14, what do the mean and the standard deviation values suggest about participant performance? So here is the answer for that. So the mean suggests that music makes you run faster. There's one mark. And my justification for that is that the mean time taken to run 400 meters is greater in condition A, which is without music, than it is in condition B, with music. Okay, if you want to, you can use some data from the table there. Um, to actually back up with figures, but even if you don't, that's still two marks. All right, and then the third and the fourth mark comes from talking about the standard deviation, and it's the same sort of deal. So the standard deviation suggests that performance is more consistent in condition A, and the reason we're saying that is because the standard deviation is smaller in condition A than it is in condition B. Okay, so again, you can use the figures there if you want to. Okay, and those are your answers to questions 13 and 14. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in question 15.